Greetings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Stone Block 2. Now, unfortunately, we've had some issues with recording, and uh, we've done some re narration over uh, some clips that got all weirdified and corrupted, and we had mic issues. But even with the narration over it, we still continue to have issues. So we are scrapping some footage. Uh, now, not entirely. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna make it unlisted, uh, private, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna have a link to it in this video. If you really wanna see the reveal of a really cool room and uh, watch us figure out neutronium and piles of ingots and we made a neutron collector and a little bit of content, uh, Draconic Evolution, it's about 15 minutes, alright? Go watch that. I'll put a link in the description, maybe like up here somewhere, if I remember. But uh, we're gonna move on from that. Now, in that video we talked about a test run of how unbelievably crazy Infinity Ingots are, and I revealed a room that uh, should speak for itself using fluid cows, uh, the mechanics of breeding them. We have a secret room right here. Dun 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 and Reveal right you guys got to see this. I was a lot more giddy about it We have all the infinity ingots we're ever going to need thanks to another secret room which it, in, it, it encircles this one of just an absurd number of infinity cows This this is insane I, I don't even... I didn't have words, okay? Um, and I... There's a lot of... <laughs> there's a lot of laughter. <laughs> Alright, let's move on from that. If you want to see it, once again, go watch it. Uh, so, what we need to do is figure out how to get proper EMC um, into the form of a transmutation table. Right now, we're sort of using the condensers to cheese it a little bit. And I think we need some glowstone. Um, I want to say either a block of diamond or an actual block. Can we put away just one of those? Lovely. And some glass and maybe a furnace or two. Furnace. Furni. Didn't I make a whole bunch of furnaces? I'm sure they're here just staring me in the face. And so I'll just grab a stack of that and plop that out the old-fashioned way. All right, let's... Oh, I was trying to open the door and it opens itself. ay 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 Krita, what are you doing? Uh, so we do need some energy condensers, Mark 1. And that is a furnace with glowstone, a block. And we should be in good shape. So one, two, three four, five, six, and block of diamond, glass, and this guy, starter up! And we should be in good shape to make the energy thingamabobber, collector, I think. Now, this is one way of getting EMC if we weren't trying to get things in the trillions and billions and crazy numbers. This is a very good way of getting EMC. This used to be like the primary way you'd make these crazy flowers that would generate 40 EMC and make en uh, flowers using the energy relays on top of a condenser and make stuff and then pump it around and you'd have these amazing flowers. Now we have these generators, which are severely outclassed, clearly. And uh, yeah, we're going to be able to do what we need to using that. Now we just need to upgrade it a little bit. And there we go. Basically just sticking a bit of dark matter on it. And that should charge it up. Uh, speaking of which, do we need Mark 3s for anything? I don't think so. Oh, we need Mark 3s for the Mark 2. And we will have to upgrade these fusion crafting injectors. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's fun. Uh, but at least we'll have these Mark IIs. That's pretty fun. Fantastic. Oh, my voice is shot. I, I tried to do that shot so many times. Uh, well, twice, and it was 15 minutes, and very, very tricky on my voice. Vocal cords. Ow! All right. There we go. Energy Collector Mark II. Are we getting quest rewards for this? Is this a thing? It's not a thing. 
Wow. Okay. Uh, and we do need a Mark II for this, or we don't? Yes, we... Oh, we need uh, these Mark IIs. We don't need a Mark II for the actual table. That's good. I do appreciate that. That is lovely. Um, so then the relays are pretty much the exact same thing, but with Obsidian. Start her up, Johnny! We need that Mark I right away! In fact, I might speed that up a little bit. Tick, 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 tick. Whee! Zoom. There we go. And then I think it's, what, seven obsidian. Lovely. And a dark matter piece. But I might want... Do, do we need Mark 1s for anything? Nope. Okay. I, I saved some of the Mark 1s for the other fellow. But that will do for this one. And it just sucks up all that energy super fast. And... Kaboom! There we go. Mark 2. Ah, lovely. Now that might have been the tricky part of getting our transmutation table. Uh, let's see. Plop that in there. Make sure we have a few of those. Perfect. All right. How, what, what else are we looking at? So we just got the Mark 2s. So that was probably the trickier part. Now we need to get some cubits uh, and some more alchemical chests. All right, we got everything we need, I'm pretty sure, except for this these little cubit things. And by the looks of it, they're incredibly easy uh, to make. Here, we'll just make a, a solid stack of them. How about that, right? Um, and then just make some more, uh, turn those into those, boom, stack of them, cubit crystals. Are we, uh, are we in good shape to make this transmutation table? No, missing items. We're missing the energy condenser, but there's one right here, right? Uh, yeah, just pop that out here. Beautiful. Uh, I probably will make a few more of these. I do like the energy condensers. They, they, they're they nice. You're able to just call on items nonstop. And ta-da! Items on demand. Uh, we probably need an actual inventory system pretty soon. Um... I don't know why I clicked on that, but hey, we got a block of Insanium. Lovely. All right, this transmutation table, we're gonna need to put it somewhere. And we're definitely gonna need to get a room for this at some juncture, um, but we are in good shape. Let's just give ourselves plenty of EMC. There we go, <laughs> infinity ingot. Hey, we have our little EMC figure up there. That's That's interesting. So it shows us how much we have, and uh, I don't even, again, the the concept of that G is really confusing to me. Um, I kind of wish it, it showed, like, a, a different figure, something that I understood, me and my silly monkey brain. It's very confusing. Um, but we're just going to grab a few stacks of this uh, so that we're able to have more EMC than we should have any right to. Um, for a long period of time. Um, I'm not too sure what is the sort of like the maximum uh, amount of EMC we could be looking at, but that says four point... Wait, what? Oh, there we go. That's what G means? So that's thousands, millions, billions. Why does it say B G when it's clearly that's billions? Right? But then that says trillion it must be using a different terminology than what i'm well no yeah no billions trillions right oh well that that's a lot easier for me to understand now thank you where's the b <laughs> what's wrong with b um all right is is there a way that we can just learn all the things knowledge sharing book make a tomb of knowledge what what goes into this some expensive crap. Some very expensive stuff. All right, so if we want to know something, we're going to have to put it in here, and then we're going to be able to make it again. Uh, so let's just put in, like, everything that we can. Why not? Uh, I don't want to put in a, a tablet. That, that seems silly to me. Um, that way, we've learned it, and we'll be able to get more of it in the future is basically what I'm going for here. Um, I know that conf that silly dust doesn't work, but we'll be able to just shovel stuff in here and we'll have everything we need to be able to make more in the future. Uh, just put it all in. There we go. <laughs> all right. Now, if we want um, 
Did we put like stone in here? We did. We put stone in here. Lovely. Did we put a furnace in here? We did. You know, we want a stack of furnaces. Boom. We pull it out. It's practically like uh, a limited creative mode. We've practically, we, we've beaten the game. <laughs> so apparently there is something that, uh, that this wants us to make, which is the maximum amount of EMC, uh, thou thousands, millions, billions, trillions, uh, and then two more layers. So the thousands of trillions, um, 9,000 trillion is what I'm going to go with. Uh, we could always click to submit. What does this do? It eats up the EMC. So we're 1% of the way there with uh, a stack. I wonder, we put in what, two stacks of this stuff? I'm curious now. Let's just grab all of this. It's a shame. I, I probably have to make another uh, transmutation table so that we can make that again. What does that say? Output full. What on earth is up here that has output full? Hello? What are you confused with, huh? Oh, this thing got full. <laughs> that, that, that makes sense now. But okay, I'll, I'll fix that uh, momentarily. No, we need to take a quick peek at how much EMC does this actually make, right? Um, toss this all in here, and that's going to give us 54 trillion once again. If I hit eat it up again, we're still at 1%. Got it. Okay. And we are at still in the trillions, right? So uh, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Am I reading this in a funny way? Singles, thousands, millions, billions, trillions. Oh, yeah, that, that is a lot of EMC. It says we're at 1%, but we're at like well under 1%. Alrighty, got it. Uh, maximum tip, balanced clay. I did look it up. I'll admit it. Uh, so it looks like basically we need to produce a, a metric mother load of, uh, of RF, and then we basically feed it grains of infinity, infinity ingots, chaos shards. Um, we will have to get chaos shards, obviously. How do we get these? Well, this is the episode of failures. Uh, we just did a whole bunch of things. And it all just got corrupted. Yes, there's some watches of flowing time. You can see something flickering down there. Um, basically, we went into the Klein stars. Now, I didn't record every single one of it, so it's it, that's okay. But we explored how much EMC did it require to make these spheres. Uh, an, an infinity block, for example, let's go with a block, is I want to say 337 billion, even though it says G. I need, still need to figure that out. If someone could explain that to me, that'd be lovely. Um, the, the colossal star uh, spheres, because there's different levels, right? We have our standard uh, Klein star, and then it goes to magnum and then colossal. This this colossal star, I think, is going to require about four chestfuls of ingots, of infinity ingots, to make it. Thankfully, we'll be able to just toss it back into our system. Um, but as it is, a colossal star sphere was about one whole chest, maybe a little bit less. Um, and I practically emptied our our chest just to get enough infinite infinity blocks to get to a point where I could pull out a sphere. Uh, and now we just need uh, a few more so that we can finish the sphere section. Um, and we made some armor. Uh, in, in case anyone isn't aware, there's a really easy way to make armor. Um, the, the primary way is to draw your pants, then draw your helmet, and then draw your boots. Uh, so there's one on the bottom, two in the middle there, and then three on the sides. And you can just shift click out three pieces of armor and then just try and make your body uh, as simple as possible. Um, hey, we learned that as well, along with uh, other things. So now we can pull out red matter and dark matter armor if we want, along with fun things like pedestals. And let's go take a look and see if that works on cows. Hint, it does. Now I haven't expanded this to ridiculous levels yet, 
but it it <laughs> these if you look at the timer on this it's just plummeting um it goes down a minute about every two seconds with only five of these and i'm sure that if we want to we can accelerate that even more um it's also affecting our ingots and i suspect that we have drained the tank uh, that i previously talked about in our corrupted video section um, and if we put a bunch more of these, I think it's just going to get even crazier. Uh, does this get to a certain point where it gets maximally fast? Well, that's going down about a minute every second. So, yeah, if you only have one cow, this is totally achievable. All right, we have changed this to give us blocks now instead. <laughs> and we've moved some of the uh, watches. They're sort of hiding... Uh, these ones are primarily to make sure that the ingots come out fast enough um, and and that's that's crazy and then we're gonna start putting a few watches here and there to make it so that this just pumps out at ludicrous speeds um, yeah yeah so <laughs> uh, instead of getting it every three hours it goes down uh, what looks like half a minute every second and we can always add more watches if we want but for right now i think that will do us quite nicely we're gonna grab what we have here and see what that gets us in terms of emc maybe we'll may be able to make the omega klein star final thing all in one episode wouldn't that be fun um yeah let's see what what happens here toss toss in all that uh we did get to almost enough i think we need another one so that we can get that because that takes four 422 yeah i don't think it'll be very long before we can afford that maybe just a few minutes and uh we should be in good shape now the next thing i want to make is a neutronium compressor um i think i i said that earlier i did mean a neutron collector uh this fellow is basically just iron crystal matrices neutronium blocks uh, neutron ingots and whatnot. That looks pretty simple. And just like that, we have everything we need. I just had to get it into the inventory. That was the trickiest part. Um, now, how is this going to work? How quickly can we feed this things? Because I believe how this works is we basically just pump blocks into it at ludicrous amounts. Um, 11,000 blocks of lapis gets us the singularity right there. I think we need to make one of each singularity so that it thinks we have enough uh, to make the infinity catalyst. What did that quest say? One is all and all is one. Got it. Um, and I think the catalyst is important for just a few recipes, specifically uh, what looks like the infinity legs. Uh, quite important on the legs. I believe we can make other types of infinity um, armor pieces like uh, the helmet we don't even need the catalyst for we just need to do some crafting to make uh, the evertide amulet oh that's easy and a soul stone wow that's easy too holy moly um but yeah so we'll just have to make these let's test what we need to do uh for this so can i just shove blocks in here i know we have enough um that's forty-four thousand blocks of iron um can, how fast can you accept it? Eh, reasonably quickly. Uh, I wish it was a little bit quicker. Um, now the question is, can you be accelerated? Yes, that's good. That That's very good. Thank you. All right, we just got a few more blocks from our farm. Uh, and I think that might be enough to set us up with four spheres. Oh, that was really close. 6.5 trillion left. Um, and just like that, we got the Omega, Colossal Star Omega. And with that, I believe we've completed the train of the uh, the, the stars, so to speak. We now have Klein, uh, the other one, Magnum, and Colossal. So that's a way, if we wanted to store EMC, that it would work quite effectively. Um, now, this is just a curiosity thing. This might be a bad idea, but we're getting EMC so quickly that I'm curious, if I submit this, is this going to go up a percentage? Ooh, it didn't. Um, how many digit places? So one, two, three, four, five, six. 
and then we're into the seventh and we one two three four five yeah we're still not even one percent so the way is truly to do balanced clay hmm and that's going to require lots of power generation in fact we might even have to make something awfully shiny to make that possible hmm something uh, something rainbowy maybe all right unfortunately I believe we are approaching the end of the episode. Let us first accept a whole bunch of quests. We should do this near the quest chest because we are looking at about 32 of them uh, and see if we get anything interesting. Um, I'm just going to shift click in everything and see what pops up. Uh, what are these? Ultimate speed upgrades. What are those? Can I make them? I can make them. Oh, interesting. Those are sort of the truly the ultimate increases speed of operations power penalty level one plus one gp hmm. interesting we'll have to explore what that means at some juncture hopefully that might have something to do with the power generation i was just talking about uh yeah oh these two got it uh, upgrade speeds oh yeah oh i see increases the speed and power penalty level 16 if we put in six of those got it so lots of stuff going on there uh, in between episodes I'm gonna work on those singularities I don't think me shoving blocks into uh, a, a, another block is gonna be all that interesting um, so for now this will have to do uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this crazy episode of feed the beast stone block 2 and please forgive me for the grumpiness uh, the recording stuff was absolutely horrendous once again a link to the lost footage will be in the description below i hope you've enjoyed nonetheless and this has been krita i hope you enjoy bye bye